Hi guys, how are you doing? So let's quickly go over this uh, ITT assignment. This is the invitation to tender assignment that we opened, uh, I think, in week 7. Okay, so it's due at the end of week 9. So, video explaining how we're going to go about this. The first thing we want to do is create the ITT, which is the invitation to tender. And what you do is you take a a portion of the task or a task from the WBS that you have created in the lab and you focus on one task in particular and then you break it down into a scope of works write down the scope of works uh, the scope of works or you can also do the PSO the procurement statement of work you create that document first then you write out a ITT which is an invitation uh, to tender there are a lot of examples that I've put up for ITTs and uh, you can go through those before you create your own ITT so this is the main component of your assignment to create an ITT for a particular work in the Panama apartment project that you need to outsource to an external contractor now after this once you have done the uh, once you have done the ITT you need to then send a bid how do you send a bid a bid is a response to a call for tender so companies send out an invitation to tender and you send a response to the tender so once all the teams have updated their or some of the teams have started updating their itt on the forum and you'll be able to see the various itts being uploaded and then you and your team need to sit together and think which itt you want to bid for and you go and create a bidding document so basically what you need to do is create a tender proposal and uh, you can do it for any team there is no limitation so basically you feel comfortable with doing a particular job and you want to create a response to that tender so your team needs to do that so basically every team is required to do a tender response or a tender proposal for two ITTs two separate ITTs okay? so you're going to respond to two different teams and submit your bids to them so two things you're doing one of the things you're doing is creating your own ITT and uploading it to the forum and the forum in the forum all the documents are visible to everyone and once you have uploaded your ITT you go and look for others ITT and then select one and then what you do is you create a response to the ITT which is basically a tender bid or you bid uh, to do to get their job basically as a company next after you've submitted the bid you go back to your own case and then this is for every team the team that sends out the itt will receive their bid so every team that has sent up an itt you receive a bid and then you evaluate the bid so i'm expecting every team uh, to receive at least two bids even three that's not a problem but then how do you decide which person to award the tender to so you have the evaluation criteria in your ITT and those evaluation criteria are obviously blank matrices so here what you need to do is you do evaluation of the bids that you received and once you have received the bids you sit down in your team so you can vibe by your teams you uh, have online discussion forum for the teams you create an evaluation you evaluate the different bids and you find out the maximum score uh, that each uh, response or each bid gets once you have found the highest uh, scores for a uh, bid or a response to a tender, you offer them the offer letter. You give them the offer letter. You say, uh, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations. You have got the job. And these are the terms and conditions. That's basically it. So it's a very short assignment. It's very non-technical. But it's a very important part of work that an engineer has to do on a daily basis. If you're working for a utility company or project management company, you really need to... Um, be aware of the whole ITT process okay, okay. Uh, the ITT assignment which is assignment 2 basically has to be done in your lab teams okay I think I was very clear on that in the lectures uh, I have uploaded the templates you don't need to directly copy the templates and leave out a couple of details like EFL and what are 13 like that make sure when you when you do use the templates I don't have any problem that you use the templates you modify the templates you don't need to go and start copying everything blindly okay so i'm okay with you using it but don't don't copy things just 
convert it into useful information that relates to your project okay uh, i'll be creating the itt assignment discussion forum so that you guys can post uh, any further queries you have and questions you directly post it to the itt assignment discussion forum the reason i don't want you to email it to me is because there's like 70 of you and if you email me i have to respond individually to each of you but if you put it up in the forum what happens is it's very simple for me i just put it put the answer onto the forum and everyone else uh, knows the answer and if you have any follow-up questions you directly ask in the forum so i really like you guys to use uh, the discussion forums a bit more especially now that we have transitioned to online mode for probably a couple of weeks now let's see how things go also wash your hands please uh, with soap and water for 20 seconds i know this is not part of the assignment but uh, just a tip uh, i know the numbers have uh, not risen yet but there is no way you should be letting your guard down so please wash your hand for 20 seconds not five seconds they have to be washed uh, for a thoroughly a longer time in order to get the virus off your hands if there's any other questions that you have you are free to directly post it onto the itt discussion forum okay, remember this assignment is due at the end of week nine i am not expecting there to be any issues so i'm not going to be giving you any extensions we are operating online it does not mean that um, you guys have you can be relaxed we need to get this course done you need to learn these things is going to be very important this virus is not here to stay permanently your degree is going to stay permanently so we need to get this done and i want everyone to get focused again you had a good break and now let's start to get into uh, assignment mode again again any questions please post it to the assignment discussion forum thank you